Hey everybody, I'm Nikki. I live for DIY projects, gardening, cooking, and just being my unique self. It's time to party, baby. Meanwhile, raising two teenagers, a girl and a boy, both with special needs, along with my husband. And we can't forget to add Delta, our German Shepherd, to the mix of shenanigans. Yes, it's a lot, but I love it. I love them, so it's all worth it. Welcome to my channel, the everyday life of an OCD-ish chick. This tomato plant is doing quite well. It's got a nice, healthy stem there. Now here's the thing that I don't want to happen. I don't want water splashing from the ground up and onto my tomato leaves. I don't want it causing any diseases. And so I'm just, I'm gonna cut this lower branch off because this, this plant will have plenty of leaves on it. There will not be a shortage of tomato leaves, trust and believe. So I want everything clean at the bottom and then all the leaves to just continue to grow up top because it can get real hairy down here in this area with the water splashing up from the soil and onto the leaves and so we definitely don't want that right now we have good pretty good healthy leaves here and no black spots no disease and i would like to keep it that way so i want everything sitting up high i don't want any leaves down here at the bottom so I'm gonna go check on these other ones. Now see like this one here, too many leaves for me. This is hanging off. Already you can see like there's some spotting here, probably from just all the excess water and rain or whatever it is, I don't want it. So once I add some mulch down here, that will help the situation. But for now, I am just gonna go in and cut that off. Cause I don't want all this, I don't want all these extra leaves. I don't, don't need them. Everything's just gonna grow upwards. Want it high and lift it up. So as you can see, the leaves that are up here at the top that aren't as close to the ground, they're not getting that water from the soil splashing up on them. Whereas these here were closer to the ground. So any water, any splashing, these leaves are catching it. So I don't want this. I want this, good healthy leaves. I don't want that. So. I clean up the bottom, nice and clean. And so I will be adding mulch to the bottom of this tomato plant to uh, help retain moisture and also to help keep the leaves on the plant dry, which will prevent disease. You haven't subscribed yet? Okay, well go on. And don't forget to click the bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Find something you love and have fun doing it. I am. Thanks for watching.